welcome to our today's episode of Teach Learn Bloom podcast tagged Making a Difference in Education. And I have here with me today, say hi. 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 Hello. There are just a set of educators that are so crazy about um, education. education and learning. So I have with me here today um, this nice set of people that will be talking about an important topic today on how to deal with patient learners in our different classrooms and homes. Okay. So the first question goes to Mrs. Nancy. So please, Mrs. Nancy, can you please tell us what you understand? Who are these patient learners that we are talking about? Who are they? Okay, the patient learners. Okay, thank you. The patient learners are those learners that are that are of below intelligence. Mm. Like they don't learn at the same pace as their peers. So they don't assimilate easily like they would have. You have to like, if it's something you would have done once with a fast learner, when you get to the turn of a patient learner, you have to do it twice over and over again mm -hmm. before the child or the children will be able to like grasp what you're trying to say and assimilate and make fair use of it yeah okay for me i would say a patient learner is someone that takes time to assimilate yeah. they like take time and i think they need more to assimilate they don't just assimilate the way others assimilate yes. so you have to be patient yeah. And they are very fantabulous people because there's another that say the patient's I dog. Fantabulous. Yeah, they are very fantabulous people because yeah. they say the patient's dog eats it's the, the fattest bone. bone. <laughs> so if they are very patient to understand, by the time they understand, they always yeah, they always they, 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 hold on to they always it. hold, they on, hold to on to, on to the, it. The yeah. information. It might take so long for them to grasp what you're saying, but definitely when they do grasp what you're saying, yeah. they'll make very yeah. good use of it. And even the, like record have it that most of them they succeed more than those very fast geniuses. Exactly, so exactly. So they do greater exploits in, in the in the corporate in the world. world and even in the outer world, in the yeah. business world and in the innovation and creative world. So they are always like Exactly, they are. They are. That means in summary, we are just saying that patient learners, they are patients. As it, you just need to be patient with them. With them yeah. You just, just need to be patient, patient. Yeah. Um, people that are hyperactive most times can still be found in that, of course. In that group. Yeah, so it's true. Yeah. They, are, they might not know what to do at that point, but mm -hmm. when you calm down, take them little yeah. by little, just like Mrs. Nancy step said, by step. you will definitely get the them, them to yeah. do what you want them to do. Okay, so how do we really handle these people? You know, it's not just enough to say this child is a patient learner, learner in my and class you and you give up child. on them. Yeah. So how do we really need to handle them? What's the first thing to do when we want to handle these children, this patient learner? So off to Mrs. Chica. As teachers, is he as teachers or as, as educators? Oh, as educators. As educators. You know, there's a difference between educators, educators and, and teachers. Teacher. Yes. A, a teacher will just pass on facts, information, or and information. That's but an educator seeks to change the narrative. Guide. Charlie, they will watch. They will follow. They will do magic. They will coach. Like, <laughs> they will, I'll never forget that they word from Mr. Lawrence. Like, yes. like that. They will do magic. Educators are magicians. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's just it. Yeah. So, so if we turn to ourselves, we turn to ourselves like Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's true. That's, that's very true. true. Miracles. Miracles, no, the entire Jesus. Yeah. And miracles, no, the entire educators. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, I would say that as teachers, first, the first thing is to identify people in your class. What is their level of assimilation? Are they fast learners or are they patient? learners and if you get to know that you also need to see sit and say as teachers what kind of learning style is do, do the patient learners love to learn some people don't assimilate some people just like to grab information you write the notes you explain it goes in no but for some people it takes activities 
upon activities. Yeah, even videos, it takes like watching videos. It takes like seeing visuals. It takes like a lot of things for them to assimilate. It too. takes um, like learning mater yeah. materials. Some can work well on the abstract learning, which is not advice advisable. But some, when, when you, once you involve them, you involve them like in, in, with the Bloom's taxonomy, that they are able to create mm. and implement that thing, that you, are thing saying, that you are saying. Then it sticks. So first and foremost, for your patient trainer, you need to think and see what is peculiar to them. What do they love to do? Yeah, you know, most of them say they like songs. Exactly. So they, they like songs all and activities. all. They love activities. They are not like book, 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 book kind of person. So they love activities. You need to draft a way to kind of make them to, to welcome them. Another idea I would say is your sitting position. Okay. For me, I always say your sitting position in a classroom. It's not enough to just say, all oh, these one parents will come here and they say, it's my child in front. You know? And in the olden days, you know, the backbenchers are always the... <laughs> the people that don't know anything. The people that are there to just fill up. Of course. Yeah. You understand? Okay. But in this recent time, things have really changed. Change. Yeah. In the olden days, we all know that all those backbenchers are mm -hmm. usually children that are not, like, very good. We used to think like that. Yeah. No, it's not that we used to think. It happens like that in the olden days. Once you see a child, and that is the same mindset parents of now still have. That is why sometimes you see them when they come to school, they'll be like, why would my child sit at the back? Sit at the back, Bring yeah. my child to the front seat. My child yeah. is not a backbencher, stuff like mm -hmm. that. But in, the, in this recent time, things has really evolved. Yeah. You understand? So teachers, educators, sorry, are really like trying to unlearn some of the things they used to know. Because we are dealing with 21st century, century children. children. So they are, they, are, they are trying everything they, they, they can to unlearn some of the things they, they, they've known over the years. So, so sometimes the classroom setting Mrs. Chika brought up is a very nice one because, you know, there are children that, if you like, send them under the desk. Say anything, even under that desk. They'll they still learn. Like immediately. Yeah. You understand? You don't need to stress yourself. But there are those people that you know that you have to, which the patient learners we are talking about today, you have to like do draw it them over closer. and over again, draw their attention, make sure nothing is distracting oh, yeah, yeah. them, call their names hundred times in every yeah, lesson. Well, not the you bandage. understand? So if they are at the back, how do you now? You know? And most times, you know, children that are patient learners, they like activities. Yes, of course. You understand? So most times when they are at the back there, you see little things like a cover of pen can distract Distraction. them. They move yeah. it from or one person drawing. to another. Or they are, or they are drawing, you know? You understand? So you have to bring them to the front seat. Or probably a place where you can monitor them like every step of the way. Yeah. You have to see, make sure that they are highly involved in whatever thing. You want yeah. to like okay. I would also say that another way to do to uh, as an educator to have to treat those people in your classroom, I'll say peer to peer mentoring. Yeah, okay, so don't just keep in your class like there's a bunch of um, good people behind and stuff like that. I think peer to peer mentoring because peer to peer mentoring is even good for those ones that are good. Exactly. Yeah, once they've got it, when you teach, you get better. Do you understand? Yeah. When you teach, you get better. Most of what I know now... And I think that's why educators are seen as the good. best people. Yeah, what, most, of what, yeah. This, most of what I know now, I didn't know them like before. I didn't know them when I was in uni. Okay. I, got to, yeah, I got to discover them as I started teaching. teaching. Do you understand? Yeah. As you teach, I remember like... And that's why when they say... As you teach, uh, the, you learn. The day you stop learning reading. and reading... reading you sink. Yes. Good. Yeah. So as you teach, you, start you learn. Dying. So once those children, if they learn from you this way, and they are teaching their fellow, um, their fellow classmates or their fellow pupil or students, they can as well bring bring up another method yes. which they have devised mm. by, themselves. by themselves when they are. And that's creativity. Um, and that's creativity because I remember like there was a time I was to teach um, quadratic equation. Normal quadratic equation, you know, is just the normal, just the normal formula. formula. But it was until when I wanted to teach it, I now discovered I had these numbers. They are looking somehow, somehow. Why don't you do this, do this, do this, do this? You yeah. Get the so I think that involving those fast learners to mentor the, the, the patient, patient learners, learners will do a good job. 
in your yeah. classroom. In other yeah. words, that means collaborative learning. And that's collaborative learning collaborative because learning. that's part of the four C's mm. of 21st century education. And we should all understand that collaboration is key. key. We can't do without key collaboration. So the earlier you start teaching your children about collaboration, teach them how to be a people's mm. person, teach them about collaboration because they need collaboration in life. Yeah, very they need collaboration in life. They need to collaborate with somebody to make the best. Another thing I observed as a teacher, I noticed that in classes where you have fast learners, they are usually noise makers. Exactly. You understand? Now, those patient learners, they are usually in their shell. Mm, they, they are withdrawn. Yeah, they are very withdrawn. Now, most times, they tend to be scared of their yes. teachers. Are you making friends? Of their teachers. Mm -hmm. That is where the peer-to-peer -peer mentoring comes, comes to play in. a very, very vital role. Bro. You understand? Because the child will be freer. Like, I'm with my age mates. I can ask anything. Mm. I can open up. I can tell to you, them. I don't really understand this. You understand? But because people might laugh at me, that is why, mm. you know? So, okay. it's very, very important. Even though nobody is talking about it. What yes. is very, very important is very, like, very leave them. Sometimes it even makes your work as a teacher, as an Life educator, easier. You understand? So when you allow this person, because I've, sometimes I've seen Miss Chica when she's teaching, she'll be like, oh, you're not understanding. Okay, this person teach this person, this person teach this person, mm. you know, you merge it. Even in the sitting even arrangement. Even as adults, even as adults. Even in the teaching, the sitting arrangement, and you still see. Talk, let's now talk about teachers. Okay. Well, you don't understand something. You don't want yeah, to meet, you to meet your colleague. Uh, that is it. It works. You don't understand. It works. Yes. Why? Why? Yes. Why? 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 Why would I stupid? No, no, no. Nobody is a monopoly of knowledge. You Nobody. must not know everything. You understand? So you have to like get people involved, collaborate, mm. open up, like speak out. In, in if it's Yoruba, they say sorry, okay. Sorry, okay. Yes. So you have to speak out yeah. as an educator. You don't assume you know everything, even as a school owner. Yes, sir. You don't assume, okay, um, a, a, a sermon we listened to the other day, um, the man of God said uh, that he would like followers, that he wouldn't want to just be king of kings, yes, whereby sir. nobody can talk yes. to me, nobody can correct me, nobody that. can do this, nobody can do that. Oh. You understand? So he said something, he said, that he would like to be a kind of, Teacher, you say pastors are teachers, right? Yeah. Would like to be a kind of teacher that he would climb the pulpit, talk one thing, two things, three things, and at the end of the day, one person will come to his office and say, or maybe just come to him and say, "What if you had said it the other way? Exactly. What yeah. if you had used this? And he won't get angry. Would have been better. And, and he, he will, will not be get happy angry. and satisfied that at least I am raising people. People, yeah. You that understand? For themselves. Exactly. That I am raising people. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some school owners that sometimes you call them to come for a seminar and they'll be like, who is this person to, to teach talk. me? Yeah. Or who is this person to talk to? So they'll be like, ah, who is what, this person? What does she know? What does she do? When do they start? That, you know, we've been in we've this. Been in it doesn't matter. Grace differs. Even okay, where even Jesus Christ of Nazareth, when he came, there are the Pharisees now. Yes, Pharisees he started teaching them at the age of twelve. Sure. You and let me let me say something. Those people that are coming to you, let me let me change that narrative. They are not coming because they want to show you they are better than you. They don't believe that collaboration is key. It's, yes, 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 yes. That's they are not coming because they want to show off. They just believe that collaboration can unlock great doors. So that is the same thing we are talking about. You know, people don't really like relearning some things. Mm. There are some people that one thing they know, it's they okay. hold on to it. They don't change. They don't improve. They don't. Okay, let me cite something that I've been in a, in, a, in a situation where I was at a place and some people from Ministry of Education came to check. You understand? <laughs> one thing or the other. So then we are like bringing this up things nasty. like do you want to break Entry, this table? Entry behavior, all those kind of. Do you want to break this table? No, we have to talk Don't about it. Don't break this table. 
We need to talk about it. People need to hear. This table. You understand? People from a home ministry of education, they will come around and they will say, oh, eh, Oh, oh, yes. Let her talk, let her talk, let her talk. Let her talk. I'm not cropping this place. Let her talk. I said I've been in a place. You understand? Okay. Where people from Ministry of Education, they will walk in to do some checkups. You know, they will be talking about things that Quality existed. Assurance. Existed in the 70s, 60s, mm. 80s. Certain doctrine. You understand? They talk, talk about certain doctrine. You're registered, oh, this, that. And, and what's this thing they used to all that time? To leave the classroom, we used it in primary school. Exit card. Exit card. <laughs> Exit card. Yeah. yeah, they will produce something like a wooden yeah, some. Uh, you, no, like a, like, no, like like biscuit carton kind yes, of. Yes, they uh, yeah, like they that carbon it. paper kind they of. They come. So. They ask a 21st century Child. kind of environment that never leaves the class that that never leaves the class <laughs> you understand they come they say where is your exam like hello exit card in this time and era like this has really changed of course you don't you don't you don't just like want us to remain in darkness when there is light mm. you understand and all these things are the reason why people like are not so proud to say that i am a teacher of course you understand because they've not seen the Yes, mm. they believe that teachers are like people that feed from hand to mouth. That teachers are poppers. Teachers are oh, probably because teachers are not innovative. They just take in yes. information and bring it out. They just take in everything. Information and bring it the way it yeah. is. Those children would not be able to talk, and they will not be able to like express their feelings because they feel like they are patient learners. Now that is for the um, teacher to work. You see what you do? You take their strength and use it to improve On their the weakness. Weaknesses. For example, yeah. if someone likes to draw, while giving the person a, a mental math or a math word problem, can they draw out what they think you mean? You understand? What they think transpired in that word problem. They can as well just draw it out and from there, they start solving. Do you understand? If people like the art of storytelling, you can just highlight, use stories. Use stories like to teach them, not just math. Use stories to teach them. Use stories for your every not class. Just math. Not just yeah. math. You use can stories. You can it in subjects like history. Yes. Maybe you are talking about a particular history. Person, yeah. Use storytelling. Okay, draw. Him. Yeah, that and artistic fix side. All the answers inside or fix, inside him. Inside or, fix, him. or yes. draw a leader. Yes. Draw a leader when you've made that your drawing of leader. Now on that leader's uh, portrait, fix the attributes of, of a leader. leader. Yeah. Write it inside. Yeah. Write it inside. Yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. So okay. you can use that their strength to work on their, their weakness. weakness. And don't forget to involve the art of storytelling. Storytelling is a very very vital. Um, part, of part of education because even do you know that many of i wonder sometimes we all go to church we hear the word of god most of us don't even take pen and paper even those that take pen and paper they don't read that in the right yeah, am i lying do it for they just do it for oh we have come to they yes. say in our church we should bring let, me pen and paper. let me not be left out but the truth is you go on for years you still remember that same thing they taught you because the pastor included the art of storytelling mm. never teach any um, any lesson without storytelling story yeah. for example you're about to teach population here you know the whole story of population and all the things that are involved in population just coin a story around population and tell the children from there they can begin to unravel the good yeah. the advantages of overpopulation and the disadvantages of what overpopulation so let it be inbuilt into your um into your lesson or into your curriculum. Sometimes we, we'll, I would always say, start with a comprehension passage that is already a story. So when the children read, read those comprehension passages, from there they themselves they can begin to deduce. Okay, this is reducing why um, 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 country A was this, or this is what we are doing today. So always involve storytelling. In other words, um, all we are saying is, teachers out there, number one. Be proud that you are a patient learner teacher, not just um, an a teacher, but an educator. So, but then there's this thing that um, marvels me most times: how um, the teachers of these patient learners, how they are always calm. 
Because I know patient learner, te um, patient learner teachers, like they, some of them have this temper. Mm -hmm. You know those children can be annoying. Yeah. Sometimes you teach one can't thing, prepare, and yeah. most times in your in your workplace, place of work, you're expected to maybe meet it. It's a target. Yeah. Like so, most times those teachers they don't even meet up. So like, is there anything like you want to? tell those teachers to do concerning those kind of children. You know, there, there are patient learners and there are patient learners. Like, those children that are inside patient learners that you you would teach and teach and teach and... Nothing. Nothing. We'll nothing. Change. Do you think there is a kind of um, malfunctioning somewhere? Or do you think there are things um, the school should do, maybe, as, a, as school owners? maybe to bring out these ones and work on them okay for me i would say that you should take your time you understand take your time take it easy with such children and remedial classes will do a great job like you don't teach them why you teach everybody together i'll say differentiation but, okay differentiation in learning good okay, it's fine. during your um planning during your lesson plan during make room for, for differentiation yeah. differentiation, differentiation that at the speed you teach those that are fast for example if you're teaching uh mrs nancy go and plan this let's plan this okay. if you're teaching um long division okay and Two digits by no one digit by two, by two. digits. Okay. So if you are planning, you're you're planning planning with differentiation means like I'm planning for fast learners. Learners. Okay. And I'm also planning for intermediate intermediate and, and slowest patient learners. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we call them patients. So you plan learners. for patients. You plan for fast. So in on day two, you know that fast learners may have finished that yes. year. That your plan. All the steps. All the steps. They might have division. gotten yeah, all the yeah. steps involved in log edition. So you still need to make plan for how you carry along. So is it is it not better you break it down? Mm -hmm. Like break it down. If there are four steps in of solving course. long division, you can decide to finish up the whole four steps at a stretch, at a stretch. with the fast learners. The intermediate you can go to two or one. Or or one, as the case may be. Mm -hmm. Then the, the patient learners will go. Like introduction, yes, you don't stress and, and buttress and buttress previous knowledge. Yes, when you, you do introduction, buttress previous knowledge, materials that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Previous knowledge, yeah. so, and most of them, their learnings should be more of audio and visual. Yeah, you don't just do audio for them, like it's more like you are pouring water on a stone, of course. You, understand? you have to get them involved. Once you have materials like visual materials for them to see what what we are talking about is all about, you will be able to know where the problem lies. Mm. You understand? You know, you will say you have a patient learner, but you won't know where, like, the problem is coming from. There are some children that their major problem they are not patient learners, but their major problem is that they don't like probably numbers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or they don't like reading. You know, there are of course about three types of learning disabilities you have dyslexia, dysgraphia, and dyslexia. You understand? So, the dyslexia has to do oh, with sorry. reading, the, the dysgraphia has to do with writing, okay, then the other dyscalculia. Or something like that. That's, I where, think I'm, yeah, that's where the calculation comes in. It so you have well. to like scrap out all those things. Like check, check, check. Do, do, does this child have dyslexia? Does he or she has this uh, graphia? Does he or she has this calculation? You understand? Mm -hmm. When all those things are being handled, you know that this child is just naturally a patient learner. And with time, the child will learn. Okay, let me talk of this movie. I don't really know the, the, the name is an Indian movie. Ishan, somebody, somebody, somebody. Like stars on earth. Yeah, Ishan. Like so that Ishan, uh, when he started, he started well as a child yeah. in pre nursery. He used to get awards and suddenly something just went wrong. But all these years, nobody knew. Even the parents, like, were always bullying him, classmates, teachers. Nobody knew that he was suffering from. Dyslexia. Do you understand? And most times, when you ask him 
two times zero. The number will the dance. Oh, I think run I remember the round. Run around, run around. You will play. But do you know one good thing about God is that those children are usually very, very, very creative. Smart and creative, yes. Very, very creative. You understand? So all we need is for us to know where their strength lies. Teacher, so when you when you yes, he that was what happened. The end of the movie was that he later met a teacher that discovered, and, and it strength. was because that teacher went through that same pain. Mm. He was going through at that point in time. He took it upon himself. He went to his uh, family to meet his parents. Have you like tried this? Don't give up on him. Blah blah blah. So. One thing or the other, you know. With that, the child's confidence started like, you can do this. Even the day they had the arts... They have low self-esteem. Even the day they had the arts competition that he won in the whole region. You understand? When they called his name, he... He like, was hiding. He didn't believe he didn't, he didn't want to come out. <laughs> he didn't want to come out because he, he was like, from where, like, <laughs> from where, from where, Ishan, they were calling his name, calling his name, and he refused coming out. So, there is nobody God created with emptiness. There must be something unique about that person. And it takes an educator. Mm. You understand? To it unravel takes that gift. To unravel it, to see it. To unravel yes. You know, they say, um, there is a unique gift in every child. Yeah, yeah. That it takes one person to unravel the gift. Yeah. And I also say, um, we've come on the path of educators. I would say school owners. Try to create a curriculum that, um, that has school enrichment programs. Like your, your, your school programs, they should have like vast stuff like music, like a lot of things yeah. imbued. So if somebody doesn't find, because the truth is, those people, there's a way you do teaching, teaching, teaching. They will not want to come to school again. Yeah. The school owners, try to make, uh, have enrichment program so that this child, if there's a way you do teach, 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 teach. The child won't want yeah, to come to school. It's boring and tiring. Because if you discover that, that, that child might be good at playing one musical instrument yeah. or the other. Or dancing. Or dancing. Oh, or the other. Don't just make it something that you have to do, like probably when, um, when there's a program coming up. There should always be that constant. If they're not good with Little Chef, they're good with this, or they're yeah. good. Because like when we did the enrichment program of entrepreneurship with the student, I really saw a lot of gems talent. in them, like talents in them. They had a lot to offer. And it was those ones that you feel like they are, they are that nothing good can come, <laughs> come out, out of. of. Exactly. Yeah. And they are the big kubanas of tomorrow. Yeah, so they are yeah, people. Yeah. So you have to unlock that. So by the time you do that, they will want to come to school because they know that there's still something, something that's good in them, good in them that, that boosts their confidence. And if you see there was this grade five class we had, because we there was this grade five class I once had where I was, and then there they would do there was this class that you would say all of them there they were like intermediate. But when they would do a drama for you, yeah. ah when you watch yeah. the drama, goosebumps will be like the parts are well acted, well carried out, you understand? Because that drama was being included as part of their what they were doing, and they were being given the opportunity to always act it out. Yeah. Do you understand? So whenever like we are doing, you are doing something on the assembly, you are already saying, okay, okay these, these people, oh, this set of yeah. people, oh, bring it coming, bring it coming, go and prepare. You understand? So as school owners, you need to have enrichment activities so that this student can feel like, oh, I want to come to school. There's something beautiful in this school. There's something running in this school. And also, during our lesson planning, we shouldn't forget brain bricks. Yeah, very yeah. important. We shouldn't forget brain because as much as I say, let's do intermediate this, this, this. By the time the thing is too much for them, bridge. everybody they needs they brain. Love the mission return yeah. come to and brain. it is being calculated according to age. age. So brain break, those are breaks that you do in intermediate, like in, in between, between your lessons. classes or in between lessons. For example, you're having a 40 minutes class. You have to know how old are the set of people in the class. You calculate the amount. Is it 10 minutes or 20 minutes? You're supposed to give them as brain break. Is it three minutes? I think four times four, sometimes five. Four, five minutes as brain break. So during those brain breaks, they do exercises, yeah. dance around and everything, just so you can continue. So that is, that's it. Okay. We've really heard a lot. And I think this is really enriching. 
But then, I think there are parents out there looking out for points, like, how do they come in? How do they help these children, even at home? Because, you know, special learners is not just enough teaching them in school, handling them in school. They'll definitely get home. And definitely there will be holidays. So during those times, they are with their parents. What do you think the parents should do? How do they come in? Okay, I think uh, parents have a very great role to play. When you have a child as a parent that is a patient learner, one thing I'll tell you today is for you not to give up on that child. Mm -hmm. Encourage that child. Mm -hmm. Believe in up. that don't child. Say, don't say the person is from their mother's side. Yes. <laughs> do not say, do not put blames. No, no, Appoint side. blames. Uh, where is this one from? In my family, there is nobody like this. I, and also be prayerful. Very, very prayerful. You have to pray for that child. So and teachers should be that, prayerful. Too. Even teachers should be prayerful. Believe in that child. Celebrate any little progress. Any little progress you, you noticed in that child, celebrate the child. And let him or her know the reason why you are. He or she's been celebrated. Yeah, he's been celebrate, uh, celebrated. So you should, another thing you should, should take the child to see doctors. Of course, I wanted so to say that. Because so loud. there's AD, all HD. The, yes. It's a neuro. To make sure it's that a, there is a, no like neurological neuro. kind yeah. of disorder Good. in that child. Because by doing so, you are stressing yourself and stressing the teachers. Of course. You understand? So everybody, every child with a learning disability has a way he or she is supposed to be handled. Or people that take care of special needs kind of children. So you don't bring children like that to a normal school environment. They won't learn. When you bring children like there are some people, parents that know that something is wrong with their child, they will come to school, drop the child, deny that nothing is wrong with this child. Like, even when they know fully well, you know that this child is not behaving normally. Uh, instead of you to open up, Okay, see, see, this is it, this is that. Sometimes they just I come to a normal school yeah. environment, drop the child and yeah. just as go much like as that. School, as much as school yeah. owners would love to find out the truth, yes. give you forms to fill, tell you, is there anything we should do? Is there know? any uh, disability? Is there any, disability? Is there any health condition? You will tell the person no. Not in everything, no. Everything, everything is everything. good. Everything I think is that's good. why they should even include them. Um, these doctors report. They forge, forge them. They forge, forge them. them. Even if you ask them to get doctor's reports, like, they force them. Like, I've been in a place where a child was, like, brought Asthmatic. for admission. Admission, you understand? You, everybody, like, you know, people with autistic, like, I'm, we are not trying to, like, put down or talk down on anybody, but we are just, like, stating reality. When you see them, they have this resemblance. It was obvious that the child was autistic. But the child, the mom said, no, that nothing happened though, that it was just that. He overstayed in the tummy, in the belly, in the womb, sorry. That that was what gave him that kind of revenge. But, uh, but we're not thing. saying Jesus does not do miracles. Huh? <laughs> miracles does happen, yes. But as human, there are some things. Like doctors would always tell you that you first of all come to, like, Doctors will treat, but God will heal. Yes. So that's the way they say it. Yes. But that, if God didn't want us to go to doctors, they wouldn't be there. Exactly. There won't be any doctor. He wouldn't have given us the knowledge to know that there is something called medicine. Good. You understand? So they are there, and that is their job. So everybody that God created in every profession is an assignment being given to you here on earth. And at the end of your sojourn, you have to account for them. You understand? And as a parent, now God gave you a child. Now, you don't want to like treat that child as important. You are just like being, sometimes I've heard parents that will say, go back to where you are coming from. I'm tired of you. Stuff like that. You'll be like, ah, why? Why should you? Why? What would like bring a parent to that extent? You understand? So, belief. What be is there any belief that is against children? I've not seen such belief. I have not heard. I have not heard and I have not seen. So parents should like be fully... Whatever you say comes to pass. I don't know. I, you know I have not heard. Uh, whatever you say, there is power in the tongue. Yeah, there is biblical. So are you sending them? Who are you sending back to where they are coming from? Like where? Where are you sending? How, to your how will they go? I'm asking. Is it I'm your asking. village? I'm Which means of transportation? Which means of transportation? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so parents with children, <laughs> like fashion learners, they should be highly involved. Be involved, go to school, ask questions. Are there things I can do? You as, you know, the children, like, if you have 24 hours in a day, we have 24 hours in a day. We don't say if we have. We have 24 hours in a day. And out of that 24 hours, children spend most of the time in school. You understand? And one thing parents don't know is that children's character in school is not the same as their character at home. Do they spend most of the time in school? Yes. They well, do. let's calculate it. <laughs> they come to school by... Seven, uh -huh. seven in the morning. Let's say it's roughly eight. School starts eight. And they close by maybe four. Like four, five. Four, let's say four or five. That's how many hours? Okay. That's how many hours? Eight hours. Eight hours. Now, they, eight hours, 24 minus eight. Yeah, they are 16. That's 16. That's 16. Now, it's only five days they come to school. And they will sleep. They will sleep. Uh -huh. For the day, they sleep eight hours. Okay, that's 16 already out. Uh -huh. 16 hours. So it's remaining eight. eight. Yeah, Wait now. So they spend one third of their day. Yes. Now I'm trying to say, to calculate something. So then that's remaining eight times seven. That's um, 56. 56. Then the eight times um, five, five of the school. 40. 40. 56 and 40. It's still bigger. Hey, wait, to Saturday and Sunday. It's elaborate. It's 24, 24. That's 48 hours plus 40. That is uh, uh, 48 hours plus 40. It's 88 eight, eight, eight hours. Eight, eight hours. Uh -uh. Okay. They have plenty of time with their parents. With their parents, more than teachers. <laughs> more than their teachers. More than teachers. Yes, that. Okay. They have plenty of time with their parents, more than their teachers. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, but most of the active. Okay, well, what we're talking about is active yes, time. Because, okay. in the because most, you know why I'm saying this now. Them, even when they get to parents, mm. they will cook. They will yeah. not have that time. Okay, so we know they spend most of their active time. Active time. Because what we need to understand, and what we should not fail to understand, is that a child is 80 20. Parent is 80. School, School is, is 20. 20. But in this era, it has changed. Hey, hey. Who does yeah. Because I will always say, give One. me a prepared child. I will give you back an excellent scholar. Good. Give me a prepared child. I will give you an excellent scholar. Yeah. Because when you have not taught your child how to obey instructions at home, it's not on the book that they will read the instructions. Learn, yeah. The way they write, read the instructions carefully. It's not, not for it. that kind of instruction. It's not for that kind of person that did not obey the instruction the of their parents at, at home. home. Not that I see parents come to school and say, flog, flog, flog. I say, what you, have you been what doing? doing? Do you understand? Flog the child, flog the child. This child is giving me a even at home. If you flog and enter the child, then you will still enter. You will still enter. Seriously, you will. You will so, be when, you have, when you have calculated this thing, you now see that. You tell somebody, okay, when you finish eating, take out your plate. Okay. And the person did not take out the person's plate. And you didn't do anything. Or you say knock before. Okay. Or you say knock before you enter. Enter, yeah. And the person doesn't knock. And you didn't say anything. That means the person is not following what? Instruction. Instruction. So also with the person not following the class. Yes. Definitely. So also with the person not follow during exams. Yes. So those things you have to. Prepare the child ahead of time. But sometimes, time. this thing we are calling patient, 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 patient learners. Yeah? Some of them, they are not patient anything. They just want you to come and rub their ego, rub their ego, because that's what their parents do at home. They buttered them, over buttered them. Because that's them, what their parents do at home. Children. Yeah. Do you understand? They want you to come and use that same method. It's, it's even very common here, whereby you walk into a classroom, they say, this one does things at his so own pace. Even in the exam hall, you so, see, you so, see a child so like this, you will be like, right. why is this one not writing? Okay, this one, leave him, leave her. That's the way he or she behaves. He or she does things at his own or her own will. And you are like, what if you go to exams that are timed? 
You go to exactly. exams that are no, like... No, examiners will wait for you Examiners to will wait crying. for you. Maybe to finish crying. Like they will uh, carry you, call you names. Uh, oh, oh. Back you. Oh, baby. Spoon feed, <laughs> feed you. Before you will not rise. Right. Call you names. But no, most of the parents that's just know that life is not even like that. That's what I like said. That. That's what I said. 80 to 20. 20. Yes. Give our educators... A prepared, a prepared child, child and you and get back an excellent, excellent scholar. scholar. Yeah. It's true because most Sephini. of the time, they are saying this one's patient, patient, patient. They are not really any patients. Just, just that they weren't prepared. They weren't prepared. They weren't prepared. Food, food, food. Okay. Okay. okay, I think um, one of the things that is wrong with our generation is time. Everybody is claiming I'm busy. See, anything you I'm call busy. important. I'm a busy. Anything that is very, I think we very just important need to speak to, you, to parents at this you point. You make out time for it. Yes. Please, you make they out should. time for it. They should there, make there are out some time. women that would like they will make out time to go to the salon to gossip. Mm -hmm. They make out time okay. to go to gossip. Have. Gossip. Of I course, love point. <laughs> if you can make out time to gossip, mm. for crying out loud, why can't you make out time for your child or your children? Mm. You understand? It's what you. Sorry. Yeah, it's it's possible. How? Like, <laughs> it gives them long life. Okay. They gossip. Give the oh. lo longevity from yeah. gossiping yeah, and yeah. everything. It kills. <laughs> <laughs> it does not give any long life. It yeah. kills. Yes. Yeah. It kills. We talked about it the other day. Wherever you should not gossip. Yeah. Where your children. If your children know you as a gossip. They will definitely they, gossip. They will and gossip. They will and they will talk about everything. you. Yes. And they That's will talk true. about you. If they are seeing, they are watching, they are observing, they are yeah. like they are emulating everything, they are imitating you. Mm. You understand? So, telling me you don't have time, I don't see the reason why you should not have time. You should make out time. What is that work? Like, after everything, family will be there. Exactly. When you are old, you still fall back to that to family. family. Those workers will not be there for you, yes. the colleagues will not be there for you, the friends. And the people you meet, is, they, they nobody will be, be there. there. You still fall back to that family, and by, by that Their time... <laughs> and by that Most time... they will die. They, some of them die young. <laughs> <laughs> because of the gossip. <laughs> and so, <laughs> friendship. So there are yes. friends that you learn a lot from friendship. Okay. Depending on the type. Yeah, that's with. what she's saying that most times they don't be doing well okay let's let's okay hi what's up with your son is he not so good in math okay do this do this do this so you can't tell me that you'll be like you say that kind of friend is a bad friend no i'm not we we are not trying to say it's like it's bad to have friends or you have bad friends yeah but what i'm saying is um, things should be done in order of priority, priority yeah understand Parents will tell you that I don't have time to come to school to inquire about the well-being of my child, how my child is doing. Even for pity, uh, they, most they, they don't, don't come. They don't, show. They, don't. they don't come. They don't show. But you see that same parent most times. You see them at a place just by the roadside. They stand for an hour. Mm -hmm. Talking. Or when they come for pickup. Talking. When they come for pickup. Eh? <laughs> Sometimes when you, you you bring your child to school in the morning, you are going to work. Oh, you be claiming, I don't have time, I don't have time, I don't have time. But when, when you bring that child in school, mm. you see one of your gossip mates. Don't break you this just, table. You, you just sit there. <laughs> Leave this table that is standing At the room. end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> your child will be seeing you or you stand up from morning. You brought the child to school by 7. By 9, 9 a.m., you are still there. 9.30 until the security will come and send you out of the school. <laughs> is, it not, is it not an insult? It's quite disgraceful, but they will still claim there is no time. Mm. So if you cannot make out time for your children, what then are you hustling for? Mm. Okay, that place you are going to pack money. If you pack all those money, and at the end of the day, your children are not You're not seeing people that will make then, money, and then when they die, that day, that day. They uh, start fighting. What do they call them? Nest of king. Nest of king will sell everything. Nest of king will sell everything. Nest of king will... In one month, there's nothing again. So. So, wow. patients, wow. um, sorry, parents that have patient learners, I would also advise that you get your children, every of your child, to learn a particular musical instrument. 
because there's something that they say about music that he helps to open the mind. So once they start learning um, a particular musical, musical instrument, it helps a lot. You also will notice improvement. I remember when I was pregnant, I don't know if that thing worked though. That <laughs> my brother-in-law said that. He came back, he told my husband to go and buy some um, CDs. I don't know the type of song, classical music. That when you are, your wife is sleeping in the night, I should be playing those CDs. For your wife, that classical, music. classical music. I don't know. I don't know if I'm right with the name, whether it's classical music or something. Yeah, they but they're like they're like classical. all those ones that they use those big, this big harp and stuff like that, okay. and you just play it and be sleeping, and then the baby inside the tummy is we'll smart. Google it, Google it, Google it. Google it. Google it. Then also, that's why I say that music has a way. Of helping. That's why I say every of your child, ensure every of your child learns a particular musical instrument. If somebody is not doing well in a particular course, your child isn't doing help well. Help them to thrive if in non academic help, yeah, areas. To help them find a non academic area. Help them find either sports, a particular sporting activity, if it's football, um, volleyball, whatever, swimming, whatever. Build their confidence in that. Yeah. Help them to find a particular, if it's guitar, keyboard, get somebody that. I don't even advise that you say somebody's patient learner. The person goes to school in the morning, eight to four. When the person gets home every single day, you bought the person with lesson again. Yeah. You're not going to get anything. Nothing. Absolutely. Absolutely nothing. What you should do at that point is to look for another thing that that person can do. Manage your time very well. That that person strike can do balance. so that you strike a balance. Yeah. You understand? Strike a balance. Let there be a balance. Look for another thing that person has passion for and teach the person. Don't give up on them. Pray for them. Work hand in hand with their teacher. Mm. Yeah. Don't see their teacher not as the uh, Working hand in hand is not for you to start giving the person peanuts, peanuts. to probably fall yeah. on the ground. When we say Good. work hand in hand, you have to work hand in hand in truthfulness and in honesty. In, in honesty. And in, Good. in spirit and in truth. In spirit yeah. and in truth. So, you, you are getting the right. I saw one right. post on CPE that they were talking about. Yeah, yeah. They made a post about somebody is getting, somebody is in this school. Okay. The person is getting first. Okay. And the person went to another school. And the person was getting uh, 26. What went wrong? What went wrong? So over the years, it has been like managed or staged kind of results. Mm -hmm. All these years. And all these things, most of most of the times, it's even from parents, the kind of pressure they put on teachers. Uh, the kind of pressure they put on teachers, even if you don't want to do, you sometimes do. you just lose guard. Yeah. Like, of course, we are human beings. There is this thing they say, the gift of a man make it a way for him, right? But people are now being like, not using so it. what they are using way. now is the bribe of a man. A man. <laughs> the bribe of a man. The bribe of a man. Make it a way for him. So you don't bribe people. For me, if like if I want to appreciate any teacher, at the end of the session, at the end of the session, when I know my child is already leaving that class, mm -hmm. you appreciate the person. Not when the, the, the school is on. Uh, you send airtime. You send pepper. You send crayfish. <laughs> you send uh, uh, the a, a tuba of yam. Uh, you, you, of course, you send a tuba of yam. You send every day. Uh, check check uh, this person's bag, I have something for you. Men, you are dealing with it before you know I the person should, will start I having soft spots yeah. Hello, for your yeah. child. I said I should put one month for you because I kept one month for Jaden. So I said I should give you one month. One that you deserve for you it. To, you deserve the month. You deserve the month. You deserve the month. Eh? Thank, Thank you, you. ma. And, uh, the and when you are mommy, the, you, know? the, 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 you deserve the month. You deserve it. will just be ringing. And when they are Jaden, come suits. here. Have you written it? Oh, yeah. Is it A? Is it B? Is it not C or C? Is that not what I told you? Yeah. Because of you, you deserve the month. month. Okay. Just one month. And let me tell you something. Like, like, uh, you are just like, yes, at the end of the day, you will just raise local champion. There's yes, something I, mean. I do, and my friend does it as well. When your children come back from school, my dear sister and brethren, test them with other people's scripts. Definitely. Yeah. So that you know you're standing. Yeah. Go and borrow people's... Um, very true. <laughs> and come and present and it before them and say, well. okay, um, um, let's see. Yeah. 
They did this in this class. They did this in this class. Did you people? Is it like scripts from other schools? From other yes. schools, yeah. Even I always even advise. I always even go out of my location mm. to get. Uh, when I moved from a particular location to another place, mm. I needed to change my children's school. I went to the school of my choice at that point in time. They said there there was no space. I had to enroll them in a the nearby school, waiting for space to be created in that school. But at the long run, things took a different turn, and I couldn't move them immediately. You understand? So what I did was, I went to all those schools like I had eye on. I got people, like, not I went to the school, I got people from those schools I had you eye networked. on. networked. Yeah, I networked in a better grammar. I got, like, most of the things they do, the exam, the assessments, the, I got everything. I was teaching them, teaching them. My children were doing well in that school, but I was not confident mm -hmm. because I felt they were doing uh -huh. local yeah, stuff. But one thing happened. I went to a place where I was, like, to teach. And I went to that place for summer lesson with my children. It's, a very big school and like those are the kind of things I had eye for and I was in the class and they, in that place they used to place children according to their learning abilities you understand yeah. so as a first time when my children came I noticed they moved them to a, high, a smaller class for that first time and I was in class and the head of that school came to meet a teacher I was with in that class to say there is this boy I noticed that should not be in that class. He's a new person, but I feel he should be moved up where others are. Till today, I never told them he was my child, even though they would let her know. But I had one kind of satisfaction inside of me, and I felt like I did a great job. I was proud of myself. He said, can we move this very child? Till today, I didn't say to that teacher, that, that child, but I just heard. Because I was seated with the teacher like this. The head teacher came from the window to say, there is this boy in that person's class. Can we move him? He's not supposed to be there. He's very smart. Ha! Ah, I, had, I had this kind of job. Like, I had this Buga, like, oh, so those little effort of mine. That's what really I'm saying, that you should actually, because go I personally, go out of your way. I personally, I, I, I know I, I, I would always scout through schools, look for question papers. I'm very, very good at that. Download talk to teachers inside that place, get all the information and gather, and then I'll ask my children, yeah. and then anything that was not clear. Even competitions, always... like I watch any live from this. Then I start asking my place. children, like, this, do you uh, know, what's do you know? the science one? Um, Inter-Swiss Park. Inter-Swiss Park. Like, it, I know it's for secondary school, but I always like, uh, bring it I'm up. very good with let's, that. Let's listen to this. The answer, the answer. You know, when once they are getting and you be you like, yeah. there is hope, there is hope, there is. You, you don't just be comfortable. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I would say, don't I, be a local champion. Yeah, don't be a local champion. <laughs> so I announced I would do that. But one day I discovered that I wanted more. I wanted more. Everybody was like, ah, you want more, you want more. Why do you want more? You're already good. You're already good. You're already good. Don't, and, Whatever and they are calling, don't be too comfortable. Don't, yes. Because because it's in that place I was, yeah, was overtaking is whenever allowed. They are doing, whenever they are doing, um, um, what they call it, this graduation, um, no, prize giving or accolade assembly, yeah. they will always be calling like, they will be calling their names, calling the their names, of. calling their names, like calling my kids' names, calling okay, their names, okay, calling okay. their names. And then I was not like, no, they're calling these students. Yes, names. are you sure they are not being local champions? Exactly. But me, I know I myself. Oh. But me, I know myself oh, <laughs> that I don't go to the teachers. I don't talk why, to them. Talk? I don't do anything. Do your job at I home. I just do my job at home. But the truth is, when they were calling their names, calling their names, and I come to like graduation three consecutive times, and they are calling their name, calling their name that time, like that. I'm not saying I'm not happy, but I just knew that yeah. it is time to move upward. Oh, oh, that, yeah. The Bible says you have long, you have long stayed upon well, this mountain. Yes. It is time to move, <laughs> move up. Living Bible says forward. March. <laughs> so you have long stayed upon this mountain. Forward March. So I just knew that it is time. Everybody was like, why why? What's the But they are doing well. What they are doing this, well? That, what's this? That? What's that? I just knew no. There's something that I need to seek. And when I seek it, 
and when I find it, I'll know I have found nah, it. Yeah. Do you understand? So we're just saying this morning, seek for more. Yeah. Get more information. And there's something I noticed about people around me. When they are, um, when they are children, they, they just stop at the books that their children get from school. They don't make, they don't buy books outside. Yeah. That's very A bad. reader is a leader. That's very bad. I personally will have like six maths book of every year in my house. So that if you read it here, you don't if understand. You don't understand. You read it here, Check you it don't elsewhere. understand. You read it here. And it's even very valid for those that are in secondary school. The main course, I was going to drop this point before I forget. For those kind of patient learners, be a mother that will buy a tab, but you need to be intentional. When you buy that tab, you download YouTube videos, you lessons that suit what they are supposed to learn. Yeah. For example, if they are learning about sound energy, refra um, no, it's not in sound, you have refraction, sorry. Mm. Sound energy, how it is produced and like all. How it travels. Okay, it's, it's light, sorry, how sound travels and mm. everything. So if they're learning about light energy, refraction, reflection, transparent, opaque and all, get videos that concern that, download them in the tab, and have your children watch that rather than cartoons. Okay, there are still books for children with learning disabilities. Like we have books like Tom Gates. Okay. You get them, in, it comes in series. Mm -hmm. It helps them a lot. Even scholastic books. They are, they are, their books are not like written like every conventional kind of books. Mm -hmm. They break it down that same way. Mm -hmm. Those numbers dance around their heads okay you understand so get books like tom gates so for example for, you get yeah. those videos according to like those videos that especially the ones that have animations not the one that has one person talking the ones that have animation will actually ignite their passion and make them want to watch it more mm -hmm. so you get all those kind of things and the children will watch it and it will let them understand so you come to school what are you guys doing in science this term Okay, we are doing this and this and this in science. You go back, you take your time. You know, you, you, you go on Facebook too now. You take your time, download all those uh, videos and tell them, week one, you're watching this, week this, you're watching this, you're watching this, you're watching this. There's even lots of, even there's lots of um, YouTube um, videos that have to do with like calculations and make calculations easier. And make calculations that count. simplify them. Kind so you go online, you have to like bring them go down, loud. break them, go the loud. Where you go to Pinterest to look so for, look for style. style to show. <laughs> yeah, use that same energy. Just <laughs> 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 love us. Uh, okay. Um, wow. 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 Like, um, you know, they said um, they are they are mom, mothers of four. <laughs> I'm learning, like uh, I'm learning the way I'm just so learning today. And uh, I know viewers out there, you are enriched, like you are so so enriched. Just take your time, take each point one after the other. You will definitely see a positive result in every single thing that they have said. So We've had patient learners in our houses before. And I would say that it has to do with support both from the mom and from the dad. Do you understand? Yeah. They cannot be at war and change it. Yeah. Mom and dad have to be. Blame. Yes, and you cannot apportion blames. Mom and dad have to come together. It shouldn't be the duty of one person. It shouldn't be the duty of one person. Mom and dad have to come together. And in unity, they are, they are on the same goal, on the same track. They are thinking of, how am I going to get this child better? And if mom is time. talking to you during the day, yeah. dad is talking during the night. The night. And another thing parents do that, that I don't like is a mother is correcting their child. And a father is saying, why did you correct? In the presence of, of the child. The child. That is very, very wrong. very wrong. If you feel what the mother did is wrong, go inside. Keep quiet. Call the Keep quiet. Go inside. Call the mom. Because that child is not going to learn. Never. Never. Do you understand? Yeah. Don't stand there in the presence of the child and be like, oh, this thing you are doing, why are you doing that? My dear, stop shouting at him now. Why are you shouting? Right in the presence of, of the child. Of the child. That is very, very wrong. 
That I is so so wrong. That would not. That would not. Uh, another thing is most of these patients learn. What is affecting them is the issues that get from their house. Trauma, trauma from home. Because I think I have. It had is one trauma of them. from the I house. Had one of them. When there is no peace teaching, in the, the house, the child is thinking He's about. Thinking. Yeah. yeah. When there is no peace. Yes! Fuji House of Commotion. commotion. Fuji House of Commotion. <laughs> I remember Fuji House of Commotion. They would even want to sleep. Yeah, they, they, they are sleeping. Yes. Good. So that's very But That's why I see some secondary schools that when you go for interview, they will ask you, your parents quarrel. Yeah. So that it is very, very clear. Yeah. Your parents quarrel. So, so they know. They are from a sane home. If they are coming. <laughs> they want to know if they are sane. Let them be sure. Some, some people are asking if your parents. Your parents. Your parents. Your parents. Yeah. Yes. Said they're coming from a sane home. Let their homes sure. that they are mad. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, of course. So you'll be sure they are coming from a sane home. Because yes. sane homes bring sane children. Yes. You can't be you can't give Exactly. You so have. you guys have to be in unity. And like we said, I will say again, it's an 80 20 thing. I think there's 80 something. Sorry, there's yeah. something there's something I learned from an educator here. She, she said one of the days that it's not like she don't quarrel with the husband, but most times that she has learned that speaking, like trying to make her points known, always it's not like she's wrong. That most times it sends a signal to the children. Of course, so she, I, I think I I like that. I will adopt it soonest. Then I'll, she will just text, pour it out the way it is in her mind on a text message. So when the person reads it, the person now know that you are angry, angry and yeah. there is room the for dialogue. Home, there is room for no, dialogue. Even the person is in the present. Person is, is in the yes. present. Yes. Maybe at that point you have visitors. Yes. Yes. You have visitors that you can't say out your mouth, your mind, your mind immediately. immediately. You text immediately. Yeah. So please, let's not raise insane children and bring them to school. I want them to learn. They would not learn. Oh, no they way. wouldn't. So to cap, so I was just going to say um, that to cap it all, we have said it, how to raise patient learners. It takes the collaboration of the home and the school. Oh. There's something they call home school partnership. Home school yes. partnership, they have to work in synergy with each other. And then you have to understand that it is an 80-20 process. Yeah. Give me a prepared child and I'll give you and an, give you an, an excellent, excellent scholar. So once your child is prepared from the house to receive learning, it's, it, will be an easy -peasy it is an easy peasy thing. But if your child is not prepared from the house to receive learning, for example, your child is growing, it's not two, and you say, uh, um, IK, keep that, keep that. This child never hears, this child never listens. And you don't make You're efforts. Good. And you don't make efforts to make that child to listen. To listen. When that child goes then to you school. you bring the child to school, you tell the teacher, make, make them him listen. Listen. How? Slug. Bully. How? Beat. Kick. <laughs> you know, from that same mouth. You. And you. I'll say it again. What you have you been bullying? <laughs> what have you been doing yeah, as Exactly. A so, yes. so it, it takes both um, the work of the house. And the school, it is a collaborative. Yeah, effort. I think. I think another thing you say. Have you like noticed that most times parents will be like, "My child, they don't, they don't pay attention." They'll be like, "Why is it that each time school resumes, my child will start feeling sick?" Mm -hmm. Without knowing that the sickness is actually coming from the food <laughs> flask. Shatter the table, my dear. You understand? Yes, we've had this. You know, as an educator, <laughs> we've seen, we've seen, we've seen things. Okay. I've been in a situation whereby. A child with two layer kind of food flask went home. No, wait, let me explain something to you. It's not just two layer. The cover of there's two layer inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the cov the the um, the lid of the flask, it has the lid, it has another thing that is yeah. covering it. Yes. I think it is insulated, yes. but I don't know the kind of insulation. Then there's a hole. Okay. There's a hole underneath between that insulation there. On the cover of on the, the food cover flask. at the cover of the flask. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the one you're talking about is quite different. What I'm saying is that the first layer had an opening. Like it's spoiled, it broke. It had an opening. Then the first layer was used last time. Hmm. I'm not talking about few days. Last time it was used to put food. 
just at the first day of school, like you know this back to school, the first day of school, the child came to school with food in the second layer of that same food flask. Only for us to open you, and you know maggots, like, already in that first layer. And it will hide there. But due to the heat of the food now in the second layer, before we could open the food flask hey. in the afternoon, the whole food had turned to maggots. Ah, ba, 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 ba. You understand? But they won't see all those things. They are always out, like prepared, looking for schools and teachers to devour. Mm. You understand? And these things are coming say, from... Hey, why is it that each time I, my child resumes, like once school is on, I'll go to hospital often and on. What about not knowing? Not the Sometimes water they'll, 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 they'll uh, blame the school owners. Uh, maybe your toilet is not good. Maybe the hygiene in the classroom is not given. Maybe this the teacher is not neat. Maybe I'm not knowing, I'm not knowing that it's it coming, coming from, from your house. Yeah, houses. Most of these parents, most of these parents, they don't like get to see the food flask their children use for a whole session uh, at all. They leave everything for house help. In the hands of the maids. For houses, there are some long boxes that you open like this. Open the bag. Cockroach. You see cockroach. Cockroach you eggs. See, so I think you I see, see dead rats. You, 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 you see, see a dead rat. You see a dead rat in one of the lunch boxes. <laughs> do you know another thing that? Do you know another thing I've seen that? You see what me. I can. You know, there's some. You see, eh? My children what I can. If I don't want to wash it, like if I don't wash it, like daily, in the morning, you know what I do? You know, the tongue goes to the of course. mouth mm -hmm. of the. I must pour hot water. Mm -hmm. I must put, I must dip it. Like, as soon as I'm boiling water to make breakfast for them, that water bottle must go into Or the water, water you use to make tea. To make breakfast, yeah, like to make, to make tea, tea in the yeah. morning. You pour if it I inside. boil that hot water, I pour. You see that cover, even the, the ones with straw, where they will dip it and be soaking. And there are some, you must wash it. There are some water there are bottles. Some people that will use this water bottle, where they will suck it. You see the food of uh, Banga stew on um, it. The thing will remain like that to, to the end of the and day. And I, I don't think something. You know your family. You know what you can use. If you know that you don't have time to clearly look at things, eh? Don't buy some kind of water bottle and some kind of flask. Yes. If you know that you cannot, you are not this kind of patient person that can come and look at the lid or look. At, don't buy all those. You know, there's this, there's this cup that they sold then. The thing is a cup. Mm? But by the side, they had a straw. Okay. It was it was spiral. It was by the time they had the straw. So I bought it initially. But then one day I asked myself, how do we clean this straw that this person Inside, is into? Yeah. Into? There was nothing we used to clean. I, I discarded you it trust, because on it. that through that straw, something, something is inside. And the person will come the next day and uh -huh. so if you know that you cannot um you cannot uh, maintain something, yeah. don't try. I would always okay, don't go for simple, something that is very simple. simple. And let me tell you something that I'll you don't get know. Two, three layers of food flask. Good. What, what let me tell you something for? that you don't know. That your lunchbox is already insulated. They padded it with something to keep the, yes, the lunchbox keep hot, or to keep it, the food warm. Why on a, an insulated, insulated lunchbox longer. and an insulated, insulated flask? flask before break time? Before break time, food has soured. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. And then you know very well that you cannot maintain a flask that has like there's a lid here and another lid on top. Because and there's always a hole in that kind of yes. flask with some kind of foam, foam yes, base fiber. inside. Yeah, like if you open the second lid, there's yeah. so there's a, there's a hole there. Now, if food and soap water and enters, uh, enters into that place and it, it stays over decaying. time, it starts decaying. Yes. And then it leads, it then to degenerates, and then there's a maggot is formed. Yes. And then you now cover that food with that thing. That maggot from that hole will Land come out, out, and then start saturating through the, the child. and then that person becomes sick the child, will definitely get the child becomes sick so you have to watch most of these things From because home. when they come to school we see a lot we educators we see a whole lot when they come to school so at the end of the day you say oh, my child came to school because the child was coming the child was always coming with rubbish food that's how every day that's why the child will always be sick when, when, when school is in session because when you are in your house mm, you give a flat plate, yes, right? Yes, you don't use food. And that flat plate you're using is easy to wash. Yes. If there's it's something, seen. it's easy to wash. It's seen. If you go yes, to your house, you can no see it. Parts. There's no hidden parts. That is the problem. So when your child is coming every day, it's coming with uh, maggots to school. Rats, coming with dead rats, rats, dead rats to school. Cockroaches. Uh, cockroach. Inside cockroach egg, inside um, uh, um, 
and water bottles. Eh? So please, let's let do us more. parents let us do better. And let us also understand that it is a partnership thing. You're in partnership with the school, you're in partnership not with the teacher. War. You're not at rivalry with the teacher. You're not at war with the teacher or the school. So take your time to um, checkmate, yourself. checkmate yourself. And the truth is, we need to understand that you need to learn. Such seminars like Teach Learn Bloom, Nobody you take your time to, to listen. Not just when you come, you watch uh, this one. What, uh, what do they know? This small, small, this small, small what girls. do they know? What do they know? The I've been married I, for. I, 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 I've been married for the twenty-five years. Forty years. years. What do they know? I've raised. It does not matter. Yeah. I've does just not enjoy. They say that you should become a lifelong learner. Always love to learn, relearn, and unlearn. If Keep it, it like a burning that, passion. Children, children, your children, child, where you carry like this born. Child will still teach you. Of course. You still learn from the child. So you learn there, there are several podcasts out there. And you can learn from parenting podcasts. Educationist podcasts like ours. You My make it child. a date. Whenever we post something, you listen to it, you like it, you subscribe. Yeah, that's very how it works. And follow. And follow. Share. Thank you. And you share. 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 Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it's a very, very, very interesting and passionate topic we talked about. Mm. Like, like, I'm wow, like uh, I'll still say again, I'm learning. <laughs> like uh, today is just <laughs> so filled yeah, with like oh, yeah, the tables can be good. amended. It's for, it good. Is for good. The tables that were broken, <laughs> you can amend them. You can amend <laughs> them. Just a new app for trend now. Yes. Well, like yeah, exactly, you can so yeah. So in case the truth is, if you're if you are if you are actually um hit. From anywhere at all, anywhere, yeah, it's just for good. it's for good. Take it, own it up. Take it, mm. amend it, yes. and you will get a positive yes. result. Yeah. Wow! You. I think we've come to the end of today's podcast. <laughs> what? Okay, our time. We really need to. <laughs> okay, she said. School owners ask your teachers for opinion. Opinions. Like um, it's nice to say, no man is a monopoly of, of knowledge. knowledge. You may yeah. not know it all, yeah. so always organize meetings and talk about some stuff. Yeah. So and listen that, to your teachers. Yes, and that brings Don't us be a mo one man sport. Exactly, mm -hmm. and that brings us to the end of today's spot. Reach out to them. <laughs> them. You see, they don't right. even right. want us to end. Yeah, they don't want us to end today's podcast. We are loaded. Teach we Learn Bloom is um, is that channel that is always loaded to give to reach out to yeah. give it to you. Like uh, in uh, in the 21st century, and we have seminars way. coming up, and we have yeah. seminars coming yeah. up. Yes. So. Friends coming up. Like. Exactly. You can hear from the horse's mouth. We have seminars. We have um, conferences coming up. Yeah. Just subscribe. We'll always update you on this channel. And then I think we've come to the end of today's podcast. Before we go, our normal and our usual way of um, introduction. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So. From my humble self. You are not always humble. You are not <laughs> humble. humble. Remove the humble. <laughs> my humble self. Okay. <laughs> okay. Humble people don't do like that. <laughs> Proudly educator. Thank you. Uh, okay. Okay. So, from the stables of. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> from the stables of Chika Agu. My name is Chika. My name is Chika Agu. Mrs. Chika Agu. And. I'm a very proud educator. 21st century educator and a very good advocate for great education. Thank you. Wow. And then myself, my presenter. Oh. You. And myself, your presenter for today. And I am Ifoma. You still want to add something? That I am an intentional parenting activist. Wow, who? who am I? Who am I? <laughs> what exactly am I? But the truth is, is just for Okafanebu and Kita. 
Yes, yes, yes. Boy, Okafa. <laughs> Okafa. <laughs> but all these names, like, you see them in full swing yes. Yes. when our conference comes up. Like, yes. Yes. you see all these names we are talking about when our conference comes up. Yes. Just keep it locked here. And subscribe. Subscribe. And turn on the notification button so you can get notification whenever we always, drop videos. Always. Thank you. Bye. See you next Please time. Please say we are mad, mad in, education. in education. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> so, you know, we are just set of educators. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah.